The B Scene Tour traveled to Maryland recently to visit the country's oldest prep school, West Nottingham Academy, founded way back in 1774. The school has a rich basketball history as well. The prep program was founded by Rafael Chilios nearly 25 years ago, while Chris Johnson helped revitalize the program within the last decade. Now, it's Tommy Fabian's turn, and no one brings more passion and enthusiasm to their job than this second-year head coach, who literally left a career in engineering for the opportunity to help lead this program. The roster continues to feature international talent from all over the globe. France, Lithuania, Cameroon, Chile, Serbia, and the Netherlands are all represented on this year's team. J.D. Cordelia and Glenn Osameha are the two most notable seniors on what is otherwise a very young roster. Cordelia is a six foot nine big man who's committed to Mount St. Mary's, and he has all the tools to have a great career at that level. He's long, strong, and mobile, with the physicality to dominate inside, but the skill to stretch the floor. Osameha is a strong bodied guard who can play through contact and knock down open shots. Beyond that, though, lies a talented young core and solid foundation to build the future around. The class of 2022 features a deep collection of guards. Vakaris Grousless is a 6'2", pass-first point guard from Lithuania who knows what it means to run a team. Jahim Nayam is a strong, slashing combo guard from France, while Sergen Vujanovic is a shifty guard who can also knock down open shots. David Vasquez Rivera defines himself on the defensive end of the floor as a pesky on-ball defender, while Keyshawn Gardner is a smooth handler with a crafty change of pace game at the point. The best long-term prospect on the roster, though, is Eve Missy, a 6'9 freshman from Cameroon who's long, athletic, physically gifted, already able to change the game at the rim, and working to develop his tools facing the basket. Most importantly this year, though, is the way the school has handled the challenges of COVID-19. They have yet to have a single positive case on campus, and consequently, they've been allowed to be in the gym, working on their games nonstop on a daily basis, and preparing...